Hello YouTube. Today's video is about aquarium water movement and aeration and why it's so important. This is a 29 gallon fresh water tropical fish tank. It's up and running uh, about 16 months. Uh, it's stocked with uh, various uh, community fish, angelfish, plecos, catfish, etc. Uh, the tank is a bio cube, 29 gallon size, and we're going to talk today about water aeration, oxygenation, and water movement. Uh, in the uh, lakes and streams where these fish come from, uh, I don't know if I mentioned these are fresh water, uh, there's movement from the lakes, uh, natural movement down rocks, down going downhill, waterfalls, uh, etc., rain. And what that does is it constantly moves the water, exchanging the gases, the carbon uh, dioxide that they, that's in the water from the fish as gills. Uh, and what happens is in a fish tank, what you have is just a box of water. Uh, there's really no movement. So you have to help your fish breathe. You have to help your fish thrive. You have to help your fish be happy. There's uh, two things in this tank which provide uh, gas exchange at the surface of the tank, which is where uh, the, ga the good gases, uh, oxygen, go into the water and the bad gases, carbon dioxide, come out. Um, in the back of uh, my cabinet, uh, buried back here, is a... Uh, Whisper uh, 100 Tetra, made by Tetra, uh, air pump. Now, yes, this is a 29-gallon tank, and I bought an air pump for a 100-gallon uh, tank. The reason is uh, I run it 24-7, 365. It's never been turned off. This pump has been running quietly without changing any of the parts for 16 months straight. I don't know how many hours that is, but it's been on 24-7 uh, for 16 months. And you can see the power of uh, how many bubbles it produces. The uh, Whisper 100 has two uh, output nozzles for two lines. Uh, one I have going into the fish tank where, you can, where the fish are, and you can see it, and I think it's pretty nice. The other line I have going to the back of the bio cube where I have uh, the ceramic media uh, for good biological filtration. That moves the water back there. Um, it's working out just great. Now, the other thing I have for water movement is this uh, pump. It's a small pump uh, on Amazon. It moves uh, the water, uh, as you can see, by the bubbles flying by. It creates a, an atmosphere for the fish where it would be uh, the river running downstream. Uh, these fish are very happy. Uh, even the pleco over here uh, likes to hang out upside down uh, on the bottom of this fake root. So, it's just a quick video showing you uh, it's very easy to keep your fish happy, thriving, and breathing through their gills oxygenated water. Uh, you can see the movement here on top of the tank. That's a lot of water movement. That's a lot of uh, oxygen going in and carbon dioxide from their gills coming out. This tank has very good aeration very good water movement and as you can see they generally will face into the direction of the water pump all right good luck to you all remember keep your fish happy keep them oxygenated and you'll have them for years bye bye